Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending April 22nd, 2017. I'd like to thank Tom H. and Joshua H. for some of these articles that I will be reading and credit and the description of these articles with links will be down in the description box below. First from Inhabitat.com. Self-flying electric car successfully takes its maiden voyage. I'm going to actually give you two articles about self-flying cars, uh, taxi kind of things where um, you can actually, they're slated to be used for ordinary uh, people to use them as uh, like flying taxis to get from here to there. Forget the flying cars you've seen in sci-fi movies because the air transportation of the future is going to be way better than we imagined, at least if Lilium Aviation has anything to do with it. The aviation company recently unveiled their all-electric self-flying car. And while there are quite a few flying car prototypes driving, flying around right now, I don't know how, I don't think there's a lot. Lilium sets itself apart with its electric engine and vertical takeoff, which the company successfully tested for the first time this week. Um, the vehicle is powered by 36 electric jet engines. I like the redundancy on that, and I'm going to talk about the other proposed one by Airbus and the, something I don't like about it. Electric powered flight is just developing, but Lilium has figured out how to make it work in its prototype. It's the same battery that you find in any Tesla, co-founder Patrick Nathan told The Verge. The battery consumes 90% less than current drone aircraft. The craft has a flight speed of 186 miles per hour with a range of 186 miles per charge. So. I'm guessing that's an hour flight time at top speed, and if you go below top speed, then it will be uh, probably a little bit longer, maybe an hour and a half or so. And I do like that it actually uses wing lift to help conserve battery power. And uh, as you're seeing, I'm, I'm posting right here a little bit of the, the video without the sound to show you what it looks like. And it looks like a scaled-down version of a regular um, type of aircraft that's recognizable as a regular aircraft. Whereas, in this next one from IFL Science, this one is from Airbus, and it doesn't really, there's not a lot of article to read. This is from IFL Science, and it basically, you can see here that it's a, a prototype too, but they say nothing about when it's going to be ready or anything like that, but it's a, a little pod type of craft uh, for ferrying people around. But the one thing I do not like about it is it's got four sets of blades on it, and to me, that can give you really quick stability problems if all of a sudden you would have one blade seize up or one of the rotors, you know, just fly apart or something like that. Um, all of a sudden, you know, you're not stable on two cross axes. It's just like, you know, you got to have this little cross with a balancing act on both sides of it. And with four, as long as they're all functioning perfectly, you have that. But just like the the table legs, if uh, you take one of the table legs off, the table may stay up. But if you put any kind of motion on or anything like that, the table is going to come falling down. So I do not like the idea of the way Airbus is doing it. I would prefer to see a five rotor or preferably a six rotor one so that you could uh, just either keep on flying or come in for a, a little bit more of a controlled landing if something were to happen. So I'm not really fond of the Airbus one. And next, this is from Science Alert. Physicists say that they've created a fluid with negative mass. This is kind of a geeky one, just a lot of reading, but basically um, what it means is that they have, this is on a very, very tiny quantum, quantum, quantum? Yeah, quantum scale. Um, they've produced particles that when you push at them, instead of accelerating in the same direction, they actually accelerate backwards. Um, negative gravity some scientists debate whether negative gravity actually really exists or not, just like they say, well, you can have an electric charge that's positive or negative. Some scientists believe that you can have negative gravity, although some people say that negative mass is not possible. It says, hypothetically speaking, matter should be able to have negative mass in the same way that an electric charge can be either negative or positive. On paper, that works, but it's still debated in science whether negative mass objects can really exist without breaking the laws of physics, something that's not helped by the fact that the very concept is far hard for us mere humans to wrap our minds around. So anyway, for some reason these scientists think that they have, it's, this is from uh, researchers from Washington State University, say they've successfully managed to get a fluid of super chilled atoms to act as though it has negative mass and suggest it could finally be used to study some of the stranger phenomena happening in the deep universe. What's the first here is the exquisite control we have over the nature of this negative mass without any other complications, said one of the researchers, Michael Forbes. And this doesn't have pretty pictures. It's basically just reading, so it's a rather geeky article. And last up from hoholock.com, new types of bullets are lethal underwater. Um, Navy Ordnance Disposal Technician assigned to, well, I'll, I'll skip down in the article and read this. The CAVEX supercavitating bullets made by DSG Technology are designed to deliver lethality at much further distances underwater. And I'll put them up here for you to see. It's not really a huge redesign of bullets, really. Basically, they put a little groove near the tip, and then the uh, 
end of the bullet that is in the um, casing itself has a little bit of an hourglass shape to it. But um, if you've ever watched Mythbusters, you've seen that regular ordinary ammunition, it deflects when it hits the water going from out of the water into the air, going in from the air into the water, it deflects. And it also is probably not much force left after it just travels a few feet. Well, these can be lethal up to 30 foot and some of them even farther than that depending on the caliber and the strength and the uh, ammunition type that you buy. Um, they also have regular ammunition too that's got some uh, really good performance but if you want to check it out this is from DSG are the ones that make this and I'll give you three separate links to uh, see different articles on it and different descriptions and everything. So anyway that's about it for this week. Take care everybody. I will catch you next week.